Why do honeybees die after they sting you? This one fact might change the way you see these tiny creatures forever. Let's dive in. Have you ever been stung by a honeybee? It's a sharp, burning pain, followed by swelling and redness. But did you know that for the bee, this act is a death sentence? Why would an animal have a defense mechanism that kills it? Stick around, because the answer is more fascinating than you might think. Honeybees only sting when they feel threatened. Typically, this happens when we get too close to their hive or handle them roughly. Unlike other bees, honeybees have a unique stinger equipped with barbed lances. When they sting a mammal, these barbs anchor the stinger in the skin, causing the bee to leave behind not only the stinger, but also parts of its abdomen, muscles, and nerves. This catastrophic injury is what ultimately kills the bee. The venom from a bee sting contains molytic, which causes the pain and swelling you feel. This toxin spreads quickly through your body due to its solubility in water. To minimize the damage, it's crucial to remove the stinger as soon as possible. The longer it stays in, the more venom it pumps into your skin. Interestingly, honeybees can sting other insects multiple times without dying. The difference lies in the thickness and texture of mammalian skin, which traps the barbed stinger, unlike the smooth exoskeleton of other insects. But what about other bees? Did you know that many bee species, including male bees and some entire families, can't sting at all? These stingless bees found in subtropical regions defend themselves by biting instead. Despite their lack of a stinger, they're just as vital to the ecosystem. On the flip side, Africanized bees, known as killer bees, are infamous for their aggressive behavior. Introduced in Brazil in the 1950s, these bees can chase a threat for up to a quarter of a mile and attack in swarms, making them far more dangerous than their European counterparts. How do bees decide to sting in the first place? It's all about pheromones chemical signals that communicate information. When a bee stings, it releases an alarm pheromone that attracts other bees to the threat. Researchers have discovered that bees use the concentration of this pheromone to gauge the level of danger and decide whether to attack. This pheromone-based communication is crucial for the hive's defense. The more alarm pheromone in the air, the more bees are alerted and ready to defend. It's an efficient system that ensures the hive's survival against threats. Wasps and hornets, often mistaken for bees, have different stinging mechanisms. Unlike bees, their stingers are not barbed, allowing them to sting multiple times without harm to themselves. This difference also affects the composition of their venom, which is more alkaline compared to the acidic venom of bees. Hornets, a type of large wasp, are particularly intimidating due to their size and potent venom. However, their stings are more dangerous to other insects than to humans. But let's get back to bees. Aside from their stingers, bees have other fascinating defense mechanisms. Some species, like stingless bees, rely on their strong mandibles to bite and latch onto threats. Despite their inability to sting, they're still effective at protecting their hives. Stingless bees are also kept as pets in some regions, especially in Brazil, due to their gentle nature and ability to produce honey. These bees provide an excellent alternative for those interested in beekeeping without the risk of painful stings. Believe it or not, even large animals like elephants are wary of bees. Elephants are known to avoid areas where bees are present, and conservationists have used this to their advantage by setting up beehive fences to protect farms from elephant raids. This method has proven to be highly effective. Now, here's a surprising twist. Some people use bee stings for health benefits, known as apotherapy. Bee venom therapy involves controlled bee stings to treat various medical conditions. While it sounds painful, proponents believe the venom's anti-inflammatory properties can be beneficial. So, next time you see a honeybee, remember the incredible sacrifice it makes to defend its hive. From their unique stingers to their complex social behaviors, bees are truly fascinating creatures. And while a sting might hurt us, it's a life or death situation for the bee. If you found this video as captivating as I did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Have you ever been stung by a bee? Share your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world of bees.